you may enjoy creating adventures and memories in a 4x4 converted compact caravan but that's not to say that you do not want to have a luxurious and sumptuous home on wheels which in addition to being a 7 star mansion is also a powerful drive with a 4x4 wheel setup. In fact, it is India's first ever double expansion 4x4 wheel tempo traveler. Hello adventure lovers and welcome back to a brand new episode of A Walk Through the Conversion. A rather extreme one, I must add. This is your host Vidushi who right now may or may not be regretting her outfit choices for the day. But, but I had to look as chic as this caravan or so I tried. Anyways, if you're new here, Motom Adventures is a 25 plus year old company that rents and builds all things home on wheels and more. Ranging from a club on wheels to election campaign vehicle to food truck and of course caravans, motorhomes, RVs. You name it and we can most definitely build it. In today's episode, we will be walking through what has been one of the most extreme, fun and extreme of extreme challenges of Motom Adventures Conversion Diaries. Ladies and gents, today we will be walking through India's first ever, I know, I know, lately we have been walking through a lot of first ever's here in India, but this really is another one and only. A Tempo Traveler converted into a four-wheel drive vehicle with two expandable decks. Mind it, nothing, not the four-wheel drive setup, not the amenities inside, nothing has been sample bought. It is all customized as per the specifications of the client. Behind me is the celibatant of today's episode with its elephant-like appeal but being based on a smaller base vehicle we have named this one Macedon which refers to an elephant-like mammal which is smaller than the huge mammoth a five-cylinder OM617 series remapped 3200cc engine that was converted into a four-wheel drive vehicle which we have successfully cruised at the speed of 90 kilometers per hour. So without further ado, let's walk through this conversion. Before we begin the walk through this conversion, I'd like to state that apart from the engine and the gearbox of this vehicle, everything else has been altered and customized as per the specifications of the client. And before you grow too curious, yes, this caravan is legally registered as a camper van on paper. Now to the conversion, if you have been on our channel previously or if you have walked through with us previously, you already know the drill but if you are new here and you are liking what you are seeing thus far, consider subscribing. Now for the conversion, we are going to begin with the exterior co-driver side, circle our way back to the exterior and then move to the interior. Painted in a combination of gunmetal grey and black adding to the charcoal look of this Mastodon. We also have done the exterior customization in the air balloon. So we have upgraded the air balloons overall, not just to support this customization and to support the 4x4 mechanism, but also so that we can have a smooth like, which is unlike the bumpy Tempo Traveler like ride. Here in the co-driver side, we have our 300 AH batteries stored up and there you can see that we have a cutout. So here we have provided the lead acid batteries and usually we recommend lithium ion batteries to our clients but here the client wanted to opt for lead acid batteries so that is what we have done. Moving to the front, you'll notice that this exterior look does not resonate to a tempo traveler not even a tad bit and that is because we have done the complete fascia work of this caravan apart from that in here we have a winch sewed up and if you have been on our channel before you already know the purpose of a winch is to pull a vehicle that's stuck or pull yourself out of a situation where you're stuck at 
This winch functions on a 12 volt DC supply and it can take a payload of up to 15,000 pounds. Moving on, we have also upgraded the tires to 7.50 16 LT tires, heavy load tires. And on the top, we have a metal dome customized as per the overall look of this caravan. We have staple lights, five on the front, five on the rear, a floodlight on the top. We have security camera. And this one also has a customized 360 degree camera, which has been again customized, especially as per this particular caravan. Moving on to the cabin. We have the customization or the cabin customization done as per client specification. So a chrome versus beige kind of background. We have a nine inch Android, which apart from displaying your music or videos is also going to display the 360 degree footage, similar to what we have in our Isuzu based caravan domicile. Now these stand seats once folded and the space in between filled is going to convert into a bedding for one and we have another bedding which once you drop this panel it is going to fall down and you're going to connect it through the hinges converting this particular area into a bedding for up to two people not only that this partition also goes down so you can easily slid it down completely to the bottom giving you a lot of openness a lot of open area from the passenger view and now that you have had a sneaky little peek of the interior we are going to move and continue our tour and this is one of the most important features of this caravan the hydraulic jacks for without the hydraulic jacks your slider deck or your caravan overall will not be leveled at all so this is how it functions you have your power pack the purpose of it is to level the vehicle overall continuing our tour we are now on the driver's side which is where we have our first side expansion apart from that that right here is from where you are going to refuel your diesel now what you cannot see underneath is an outlet or an inlet for the air so what we have done is in case you have a flat tire or in case you want to refill or inflate deflate your tire you can do so simply through the air mechanism that has been provided underneath this slide out this is again our slide out deck that we have here you'll see that the windows are concealed with a beautiful design again adding to the overall look of Macedon and giving it a different look than a normal tempo traveler this right here is your inlet to a 450 liters freshwater tank on the top we have the louver window as well as the exhaust for the bathroom area down there we have another cabin storage where you can utilize the space to store your camping equipments and whatnot now moving to the rear of this caravan first up we have this swivel arm where we have our spare tire stored up behind that swivel arm is our exterior slide out kitchen area so you push drop it down this right here is your two top burner of course because you're moving you'll have to set the overall amenities so we have a two top burner an frp sink we have additional storage space under which currently we have our faucet stored in so you'll have to come closer this is how you fix it and if you're wondering where the pipe connection is so behind this panel you'll have to scoot under there we have our water connection and right there we have our lpg connection which again it is interconnected both on the inside as well as the outside on the top we have the led lights as well as awning that has powder coated hardware which again it's going to prevent it from rusting or any kind of staining now moving back to our co-driver side so here you'll notice that we have another extra set of storage where maybe you can put your camping equipments 
or a hard luggage and on the top you'll notice that we have another vent which again is to let the air out because we have our blast proof cylinder stored up on the top along with extra storage space. Moving on, we have huge, huge concealed windows and this one is a hatch that opens up. This here has been provided because we have a kitchen on the inside. Again, the same powder coated hardware, a complete awning on the side and moving on to the interior we have our motorized steps the functioning unit of which has been stored in the cabin area here so you press this button and down goes your motorized staircase and now we are going to move inside our caravan Macedon but before we do that you'll notice that this here is the camera and we have one on all fours underneath the camper which again is how we are getting the 360 degree footage customized especially for this particular camper. As you enter the inside you encounter luxury in each and every corner so this is how the interior looks post expansion you have an extended space of approximately nine feet by three feet now these are the recliners that we have here you also have a thigh rest again an easy space for two people to lie down while we also have a sofa on the other side behind the recliners you'll notice that we have charcoal paneling so this is another feature that client was very particular about so that is why we have provided the same next up here we have a bifold table so how it works is you simply unbolt this remove the clips pull this up and then you fix this bolt right here So here you have it then again we have cup holders on each of the side which is stored right here so this is how it works simple cups place it here and now your cup holder is ready to be used on the opposite side we have a sofa that converts into a bed using the flip-flop mechanism that we had in our conversion below we'll insert an overlay of how much space we have here so we can easily sleep up to two people on this little section so again the quilting of the bottom area as well as the frp color tone on the top this was all as per client's specification to the standard amenities we have a 43 inches smart tv there's an android and throughout the top you'll see that the customization has been done using the reinforced fiber paneling that we use other than that we have a 1.1 ton static ac on the front and you'll notice that there's also a auto ac the ducts of which are going from the front to the back connecting to this little area which is where we have our cab over bed space so as I was saying that the ducts here are getting connected to the rear end. So the person, be it who is sitting on the front or who is sleeping seating on the top gets ample air supply both on the top as well as the bottom. And this is another one of the cool features that we have in this caravan. It's a really cool design for the person who is just viewing this caravan for the first time. It'll look like just a random design. But really the purpose here is to serve cool air throughout the caravan and speaking of coolness there's another cool feature which right now if you're just looking at it it's going to look like a simple carpet a simple black carpet but really the magic happens at night so this is the first time that we have ever used the fiber optic cable in a caravan and 
if you have a polluted sky at a place where you are caravanning let's say if it's a city which caravanning in a city should be a crime but still you, let's say you don't have enough time to go caravanning and you have a polluted sky view in that case you can have your very own sky the lights of which the color of which can be controlled at your end other than that up top you'll notice that there's a huge huge hatch which again this is another one of the customization that was demanded at clients end because they wanted to have a lot of openness a lot of wide view on the inside which is why we have created this hatch opening the same you have ample room and even the access to the rooftop area now speaking of this little detail so this is the slide in or the drop in panel that connects the cabin area with the actual salon area so with a press of a button you simply drop down the partition that you have in between and have an open wide view so this is how the view looks when you completely drop the partition this is how it is going to be for the passenger who's sitting on the rear and in case because again this is something that's being used for a personal use not for a commercial use so in case the client ends up driving the caravan themselves then they would be connected to their family members as well and this was a last moment customization that was added to the overall or list of customizations now on the floor we have again for the first time provided a burma teak wood which has been seasoned which is taking us to our next station which is the kitchen area so before we enter the kitchen space we have one more seating space right here this is a jump seat you can simply fold and put it up but we're not going to do that we're going to move to our kitchen space and in the kitchen area first of all we have a lot of storage space here so currently we have our glasses stored up in here there is a microwave area there is an exhaust space that we have so a full-fledged exhaust is here as well now you'll notice how in willow the same exact caravan the caravan that's based on the exact same vehicle we had very little space because of which the counter area was very much smaller in comparison to this caravan which is why here we have a four top burner instead of the two top burner that we originally had in willow other than that we have an frp sink which is powder coated in black there is a faucet with both cold and hot water supply then we have the drinking water supply as well this is a rubber wood countertop similar to the bifold tables that we have on the other side and here we have our 50 liter fridge which again operates on 12 volt dc you know it very well then here we have storage space so all your cutleries utensils can be stored in here perfectly fine and you'll also notice that because this is a kitchen space we although have a ventilation space through the exhaust but you have also created the hatch opening which you get enough ventilation not just on one side but also on the top through which I'm getting a lot of sunlight right now so we have ventilation both on the front of the kitchen space as well as on the topmost area now moving to the staple of Motorum Adventures caravan conversions you already know it it is the bathroom area so before we actually speak about the bathroom you guys know that building bathrooms on wheels is in fact our USP and we build the bathrooms as per the Indian road conditions as per how the Indian people are going to need it we have been keeping quiet on here on what our services are in terms of the bathroom but since past three years we have provided our bathrooms or customized our bathrooms for different buses of various paramilitary services such as CRPF and other paramilitary forces so that is that on the bathroom and that means if you want to get a bathroom customized as per your requirement be it in a normal vehicle or even in a fully fledged caravan that is doable as well you just need to ping us and according to the dimensions and the size of your area we are going to custom create a bathroom for your requirement speaking of which let's enter to the bathroom of mastodon before that here these are the switches you'll notice that the switches in these are touch switches and these profile lights by the way are 
customize again as per this particular camper we also have a dimmer right here which again you won't be able to notice right now because of the amount of sunlight we have this here is another customization done as per client specifications so to save the space on this side and to have a comfortable walkway area they wanted us to create a bifold door which is what we have done opening the same we are going to enter inside on the bathroom space so you'll notice that similar to all other bathrooms that we have customized the top the bottom the walls have been customized using the same frp material even this wash basin which is a single unit that has been molded to this bathroom area is a customization based on fiber reinforced polymers but this wash basin area is actually a swivel arm post swiveling which we have a urinal as well as our shower space so this again is something that we originally did in our caravan willow because we got a lot of feedback from our clients stating that the vanity area which is now on the opposite side gets wet when we are bathing up so now because we have a hard partition in between the area is not going to get wet and we have the complete area to ourselves on the bottom you'll notice that the platform is risen a bit but here we have the pine wood tray so what happens is instead of storing the water on the bottom it is going to get soaked in through those trays and because we have profile light it also looks aesthetically appealing but other than that the actual practical purpose here is to drain out the water comfortably moving back to the other side so this is the real deal that we have in here a camo that works on pneumatic activating valve if you are new here and you do not know what that means it is basically the technology that you may have seen in the airplanes as well so it works through the pressure of the air so the pneumatic pressure that we have and through that the odor is going to stay at bay and this flush this technology that we have it uses less than 300 ml per flush which is a necessity if you are traveling to an off-grid place where you have no water or limited supply of water and that winds up our bathroom area so some some final amenities will be the louver window and exhaust fan which again was customized post creating this bathroom space and that marks the end of the bathroom area you'll notice how these whole details are touch based so it's a touch or sensor based commode that we have right here and then finally marking or concluding this bathroom area we are now going to move to our final space which is the rear seating sleeping space so pre-expansion you have a sofa space that can seat up to one two and three people and post expansion you can convert this whole area you can have an extra space of approximately six feet by 2.5 feet so how it works is a simple flip-flop mechanism similar to what we have on the front and then we have this motorized bed on the top so here you'll notice that we have the pine wood with a profile lighting which again is the base for a motorized bed this is the bedding area that can sleep up to one then we have one on the bottom which can sleep up to two people giving you accommodation of three people on the rear so all in all a seating and sleeping accommodation of up to nine people and in terms of seating i'd say including the driver and helper we have seating accommodation of up to 11 people in this whole caravan other amenities are the same old tv music system space to store your shoes this here is the ac unit the auto ac unit of the rear end and that is going to conclude this episode of the walk through this conversion So I hope you guys enjoyed this walk through the conversion. Actually, I am sure that you guys must have enjoyed the walk through this conversion. And if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up what it means a lot to us. 
Now I know this being a 4x4 customization, you guys must have a lot and lot of questions and don't you worry, all your questions are going to be encountered and answered by the man behind the making. We have a rather special episode this time coming your way. So if you have any questions or queries regarding this conversion, make sure to put that in the comments down below. And on that note, if you are interested in getting this kind of crazy customization or maybe a simpler requirement, customize as per your specifications, then Motorum Adventures is at your service. All you need to do is go to the website, which is www.caravanconversion.com. You can inquire to us. We are going to reach back to you with a certain form, which is going to be suitable as per your requirement. And after you fill that form, you are going to get connected to one of our concerned technical person who is then going to give you a fine input about your customization. And if you are dubious about the kind of customization that you want to offer and you maybe want to rent the caravan first, then that option is available as well. We have both self and chauffeur driven rentals. We have both customized itineraries wherein you get to decide, you get to plan where you want to travel to, as well as the curated travels wherein we have already sent our team members to travel to those areas and they have already done the recce they have already done the homework and all you need to do is just go to explore those locations so all the information related to building and rental is going to be mentioned in the description box below and on that note thank you so much for coming by a big big thank you to mr krishna saad and his family for believing in motor adventures while we were creating their dream home on wheels and subscribe to our channel for we will be posting many more fun conversion and travel videos in the home away home on wheels motorhome adventures signing off